YouTube is what really, like I just looked at it like out of sight is out of mind. So I need to constantly be coming out with visuals, you know. Before anybody else felt like this, I felt like my words was potent enough to not be ignored. So I just felt like with a visual, a constant visual and constant potent lyrics, I feel like I couldn't, I can't lose, you know. I'm Montana of 300 from Chicago, Illinois. And I am the best rapper Right now. Get a game foul in a ref dirty. Keep the green on me like a test jersey. Tell the opposition I ain't never worried. Keep the 30 on me like I'm Stephen Curry. I can see you pussy like a mini skirt. Keep talking, you gon' get it first. And the toughest what you gon' get it worse. Now go order up about 20 shirts. Well, I put all these videos on YouTube through over the over the period of time, really years. And I remember putting them up rapping over industry beats because I feel like I'm better than these famous people. And the only way I could prove that is if I get on the same canvas, which is the same beat, and either match what they put out or surpass it, you know? And that's really how I grew my respect as an artist. People was like, man, you know, he, this dude who's not even famous or local killed such and such on their own track, you know, or killed this artist on their own track. That's proof that when you put two people on the same canvas, it doesn't matter who has the most Grammys or who has the most number one hits, you know, it's like, you have to, that's like, you're gonna see, see Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson fight each other in the same ring. Like, we on the same ring, the same plateau, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the south side of Chicago. They call it the low end, 28th and Calumet. It's, it's rare that you find somebody to make it out of there, you know, or become something, do something with their life, other than going to jail and end up, you know, in an early grade. Back then, growing up, it was way harder for artists to get, you know, a deal, so it was like, the only person we know that's from Chicago, but he's from the West Side, was Twister. I feel like a lot of artists these days don't take advantage of social media. Like, that's free. Like, people like Twister back in the day, like, they didn't have that. You know what I'm saying? So I meet some artists, and they be like, hey, can you sign me or can you do this? You know? I'm like, okay, you got, you got a Twitter, you got an Instagram. They be like, no, I don't got one. And I'm like, there's no reason why you're an artist and you, and you don't have a Twitter or Instagram, you know? So, um, yeah, I feel like I definitely took advantage and then like, I built, you know, my brand and my name on my own. I think in life, a lot of people look for the shortcuts. The, the meetings that I've had with record labels and things like that, you know, it's, you could pick up the phone, one phone call and have you on the cover of Double XL, or pick up the phone and have you on this and featured on this, and it's just like, oh, really, really? And it's like, all oh, this so fast? Like, you know, that's the shortcut through the park, you know, and it's like, I'm just gonna keep grinding it out and all that stuff is gonna come. Like, I don't know, it might not come as fast as if I signed with you, but I feel like it's gonna come, you know? And when it comes, I'm gonna feel like I earned it and I'm not gonna owe any of you a dime. A person like Birdman with Cash Money is like, okay, he needs a Lil Wayne, you know, like, or Don King needed a Tyson, you know, or Suge Knight needed a Tupac, you know? It's like, I always say I wanted to be Birdman and Wayne in one person. And I'm giving advice to artist that's, you know, pursuing a rap career, you know. Don't sell your soul. Real niggas don't never fold. Just set and pursue your goals. The truth that was never told is they'll bribe you with cars and clothes, shiny diamonds and gold, performing at hella shows, and after that, nailing hoes. I've been grinding on my own. They can't bribe me with no loans. Before I live as a slave, I'll be dying on my throne. Don't do lying in my songs, bitch, I'm flyer than a drone. Taking giants out they zone, tell Goliath, bring it on. And it's, it's just certain things like that. I feel like people need to hear certain things, you know, and they could be like, he did it without a deal. I can do it too. And if this nigga run and this nigga done, I'ma soak a nigga like he in a tub. These rappers act as like Ice Cube, now tell dope boy to come pick him up. Fuck niggas, I never liked them, got no problem with killing one. I do real hits and don't brag about it, just rap about it, I don't give a fuck.